The 1930s saw big changes in the technology of flight. Aircraft structures made of wood gave way to metal, and monoplanes took over for biplanes. And in 1932, Boeing had big success with the fast all-metal Model 247. But Boeing rival Douglas Aircraft Company kept the 247's success short-lived. They came out with the DC-2, which was followed by the famous DC-3. All of a sudden, Boeing was going to be shut out of the commercial airplane market. Boeing needed an answer and found it in the recently introduced Model 299, a four-engine bomber that later became the B-17. Boeing engineers turned that into a passenger airplane, building a bullet-shaped, cigar-shaped fuselage that could be pressurized. Born was the Boeing Model 307 Stratoliner, and it was that ability to pressurize the cabin that created a level of comfort that hadn't yet been experienced on passenger airplanes. Passengers were flying through the weather, the cold, the, the, all of the, the vibration and, and everything went with it. Air travel wasn't very, a very comfortable experience. But with pressurization, the plane could fly at 20,000 feet and get above a good deal of this weather. So this is our door to entryway. Blake Emery is Boeing's Director of Differentiation Strategy, which means he knows a lot about passenger comfort. He says it's easy to see that the foundation of passenger comfort with the Stratoliner continues today. The link between the Stratoliner and the rest of the Boeing lineage is the continual search to make the experience better for the passenger. But the Stratoliner's success was cut short with the start of World War II, when Boeing had to focus on building aircraft for the war effort. However, a fully intact and operational Stratoliner was restored by the Boeing Company in 2003 and lives at the National Air and Space Museum in Virginia. And even though the era of the Stratoliner is a thing of the past, its ideals and innovations are sure to be a part of the future. Starting with the 307 and right up to today, there's a continuous legacy of introducing the great innovations and great revolutions to commercial aviation.